Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the JDA series. Uh, this time we have a guest uh, video person. Um, his name is Oscar, so he's going to be showing you how to make a meme command for your, your bot. And that's going to be using a web API that is able to get memes um, and stuff like that. And he'll show you how to do all of that. But before we start, I want to show you something that he forgot to add. So whenever you're creating the project, you can either create it with Gradle or you can create it with Maven. So he likes to use Gradle, so um, it's really just personal preference. But but assuming you use Gradle, he has this dependency here that he wants you to add into the, de the dependencies uh, section, which will add a simple uh, little library for um, getting JSON with um, Java, okay? So just make sure you have this and you'll be able to follow along in the video without any problems. It's just going to allow you to use a simple Java library to use or to work with JSON um, stuff, okay? So yeah, make sure you add that. And then also he has this, um, the API is right here, uh, meme-api.herokuapp.com uh, slash gimme. And this um, basically, um, this whole URL here returns a new meme every time that you load it, okay? Uh, basically, all right? No? Yeah, it does, okay? See, because it has a different title every time. And then you can click on the URL and then it gives you an image of the meme. So basically the way this is gonna work is, um, Every time you make this request here to this URL, um, it's going to give you this data in JSON format, and then you can grab the various uh, data things from it, like the title and then the URL, and then you can turn the URL into an image, and then finally you're going to use all this to create a message within your Discord server because we're making a Discord bot. All right, so yeah, that's all you really need to know to get started. So make sure you have this URL here. I'll put that in the description below. Along with this, I'll put that in the description below, so you can uh, copy this into your Gradle dependencies. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, enjoy the video and let Oscar know if you have any suggestions for future videos and how he can improve on his videos. So hope you enjoy. Um, leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hello guys, welcome to another JDA coding episode. And in this episode, we're going to make a meme command so even your bot can become an epic meme lord. So let's get started. You need to make a new meme command. So let's call it meme command. Obviously, we need to extend listener adapter. Listener adapter. I want to get the old get. Need to get the on guild message. Oh my god, I can't spell it. On guild message received event. I just made my keyboard. I, I swear I didn't fart. Okay. So now we obviously need to start with making a string array and call it arcs and it's gonna equal to event that get message get content draw split and to split by every space so basically what this does what this does is it gets the message it gets the content and then it splits it by every space and puts it inside of the array so now since we're gonna use JSON data, we need to make a new JSON parser. So let's say JSON parser. Let's call it parser. It's gonna equal to new JSON parser. There we go. So now let's start with checking if the first argument of our array equals to meme and now we need to get the actual URL of our meme API so let's say URL meme URL let's make it a new URL so now our URL is gonna be this oh my god no going to be this our meme api so we're going to put it inside of the spec and we need to start it with a try catch and let's change this to exception since there can be a io exception so now we need to make a buffered reader to read data from our URL, URL. So let's call it buffered reader and it's going to equal to new buffered reader that's going to equal to new 
input stream reader and this is going to equal to meme URL now open connection get input stream so now what we're going to do is since we've got our buffer reader we want to loop through the data that we get from the API and the reader let's start by making a string variable and let's go uh, let's go with lines so now we want to make a while loop and what we want to do is we'll say lines equal to buffer reader now read line but we, want to we only want to loop and the lines are not equal to no so now we need to make a new JSON array and let's me so let's say JSON array array it's going to equal to new JSON array and we want to add our buffered reader never mind no 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 we need to add our parser and we want to parse our buffered reader that's what we want to do so now we need to make a new for each loop so we to make for each and say object o inside of our array and now what we want to do is we want to get a json object let's say json object let's go with json object that's gonna equal to we need to cast it to json object and the json object is gonna equal to this object kind of confusing so now let's make variables for data from the api so first let's start with the post link so let's just make it the same so that's post link and let's just leave as an empty string so now we want to get the uh, what's this title so we want to get the title of our meme we want to get the URL of the image of the actual meme so since we've got this now we want to get say get, oh my god I can't speak today and say post link it's gonna equal to cast the string and say json object not get and say post link so basically what we're doing we're assigning we're assigning uh, we're casting the json object to string since our data type is string and we're getting this value which is gonna be the post link so we, if we put this in it post it post it gets the image so if we do title and again we need to cast it to a string since our data type is string you can say json object dot get and we need to cast it because get returns an object and we want to get the title which is basically title of the post and the last thing we need to do we need to get the url of the meme so we'll say string again say json object dot get url and this sorry this gets this value and this value posts to the actual image of the meme so now since we assigned our stuff we exit the while loop 
and we want to close the reader. So we need to do is buffer reader close. And now let's start by making our embed. So first of all, let's delete the message. So basically, if we say meme, this will be deleted and was replaced with this. So now you're going to say embed builder builder. It's going to equal to new embed builder and you set and set the title to title. To set the URL to URL and set image and you want to set it to uh wait never mind this needs to be post link and this needs to be url and let's add a color so let's say set color color dot orange since i like orange and you want to say and you want to say event get channel send message and let's say uh, let's say our builder we need to build it and you want to queue so now in our exception we want to notify the user if something goes wrong so let's say event dot get channel dot send message and let's say let's have the no entry mode and let's put in bold and let's say hey something went wrong please try again later and again we need to queue it so now let's say jda add even listener say new meme command so if we start our bot enabled and we say meme something went wrong hmm what happened oh right it needs to go to lines I'm stupid so if you say meme, there you go. We got our meme. So let's say again meme. The message gets deleted. And we're left with the image, title of the meme. And if we click on it, it brings us to the post. So if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe to Cody's channel and obviously join our community on Discord. And see you next episode.